On today's episode of World of Micah, we are heading to the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World to compare then and now photographs of Roy O. Disney at Walt Disney World. This is going to be a fun historical episode. Now, let's take a closer look. Ooh, like a glove. Gonna hop on this tram here. First one on. Here we are, guys. Welcome aboard, everybody. Just pull down on the handle, pull out on the door, and lower your head. I found some photographs of the trams here. And they were going by the contemporary on that little side road that goes under the bridge. I wonder if the uh, the trams had a different route back in the day. And later on this evening at uh, 8.45, we have a firework and projection show called Apple Leaf Ever After. I think I might monorail. I usually take the boat, but I think I might monorail. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. We never really do the monorail. All right, Magic Kingdom. Let's talk about a little Roy O. Disney, the man who made all this happen after Walt passed away. Right there, it says, keeping dreams on track, Walter E. Disney, chief engineer. Yep, that's exactly what Roy did. He looked after his brother and he, he kept dreams on track here. It was pretty awesome as that railroad pulled in. Today's gonna be a good day, that's for sure. Check out the, the colors on the Mickey there. A little teal action, a little pink action there. Now when Walt passed away, his brother Roy kind of stepped in and took over, you know, Walt's shoes, if you will. He made all of this happen. Now there's a lot of photos online of Roy on Disney property, you know, before they even, you know, built anything. It was all swamp and trees and whatnot. And one day I would love to like try and match some of those up. But today I really wanted to focus on photos here inside this park. A lot of them take place on opening day, but there's a few before. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna venture around Magic Kingdom and kind of walk in Roy's footsteps, if you will. A lot of people walk in Walt's footsteps at Disneyland. Here at Walt Disney World, we can't do that with Walt, but we do have Roy. Let's go match up some photos. Back here, tucked away, is really, honestly, the man responsible for getting this place started. On October 25th, Royal Disney dedicated what we know as Walt Disney World. And sadly, he would pass away December of that year, but he did make it to opening day as well as the, the dedication. So let's match up those photos right now. Oh, by the way, over here next to Roy, if you're collecting pennies, they have uh, Mickey right here. Mickey and Minnie. And Mickey and Minnie on Main Street. They have a, a random Minnie and then a Mickey on a locomotive. And there's Roy's name, Chairman, right up there on the windows. Yeah, right here was Roy, Edna, his wife, Mickey, and their VIP tour guide. They were here for a dedication, October 25th, 1971. And I wish I knew who Roy was talking to in this photograph, but it's a construction worker talking to Roy. You can see the Emporium to the left and the confectionery to the right had not been completed yet. The Emporium kind of had its shape. It's really interesting to see these opening, like pre-opening, I should say, pre-opening photographs of this park and how much actually went in just on Main Street USA alone. I love this photo because you can see right here, this tree, you can see the uh, the pillars back there on the Town Square Theater. And this is where Roy and Edna, his wife and Mickey were standing right here. The bench is still here. All of this looks the same. And here's the photograph. Pretty cool, huh? Roy and his little wife, Edna, didn't live too far from here, actually. They came down to dedicate this. I think that was the last time Roy was in the park. I think he left uh, Florida after that day. And this is the plaque right here. The opening day speech dedicated 25th day of October, 1971. And I have a photograph of Roy actually holding this. It's pretty cool. Roy, Manny, let's go find that. And Roy's actually wearing this outfit and he's sitting right over here. 
Now there's a photograph of Roy holding that opening day plaque and he was seated somewhere around here in the courtyard where he gave the speech. Not sure exactly where he was sitting, but you can see the photograph of him holding the, the, the plaque and everything and getting ready to make the opening day speech with Mickey Mouse. And the story goes that Roy was really, you know, upset, not upset, he was just very emotional opening this place that morning, dedicating it. And the story is that he took Mickey by the hand, looked at him and said, all right, Mickey, let's do it for Walt. Something along those lines, don't quote me on that exact, but he did something along those lines, took Mickey by the hand, they walked up and he gave the dedication speech. Yeah, right here they had Pluto, Goofy, Roy and Mickey hanging out on a park bench here in front of City Hall. There's a photograph of Roy and Mickey sitting here holding hands. And they changed it and added Minnie when they made the statue here. You can see Roy standing right here with the construction hat and they had like the skeleton of Cinderella Castle done in the background behind him. Wow, this place was still dirt. Pretty wild. And this is what it looks like current day. 50 some odd years later. I wonder what Roy and his brother Walt would think of this place now. I'm gonna hop on the people mover for a moment because the line wasn't long. I haven't done the people mover in quite some time. Uh -oh. For your safety, please remain seated. Thank you. Well, we were going to take off. Stay clear of the doors, which will open. Yeah, they're even stuck inside Space Mountain. I love this old video surveillance. That's old school. Orion TV. What a cool shot of uh, Space Mountain there. All right, here we go. This is the TTA Blue Line. Now it's service around Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. Really trying to pepper in these historical, you know, videos and stuff here on the channel because that's really my thing. I like doing historical things, weird history of the parks. So if you guys are digging these kind of series, let me know in the comment section, for real. Let me know if you like this stuff. I just want to thank Roy for creating this place because his brother Walt had the original had the original idea for Progress City, which is right up here. And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Borak. That's cool, they're paying tribute to uh, Walt's original idea for Progress City. And while you might have thought Walt Disney World was our, uh, our final stop, I changed my mind. I do that from time to time. But that is a wrap on walking in Roy O. Disney's footsteps here at the Magic Kingdom.
And since I took the monorail over, I'll take the ferry boat back. As much as I love the monorail, the ferry boat to me is just classic Magic Kingdom. Right here, down the street from Walt Disney World, are the three houses that Roy and his wife Edna and a few others stayed in. And if you hear someone panting, it's my dog, George. Say hey, George. He just got picked up from the uh, the vet. He's he's a little grumpy. But these are the houses right here. They're identical. And this is where Roy and Edna and the Imagineers were working on Walt Disney World lived. It was these houses right here. Imagine them just walking over to each other's house, having barbecues, and I believe they all did sit down and watch. George says they all sat down and watched in one of these houses, the grand opening of Walt Disney World with Julie Andrews. <laughs> Isn't that cool, George? Disney history there, buddy. Disney history. All right, pal. Let's head home. Tell the viewers thanks for being our friend and thanks for watching. And thank you, Roy. See you on the next episode. Stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>